flowers. So cute! I can offer you do that. Here it is so far. Lights aren't offering me, but we got the flowers. I watch you as you drive. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day, everyone. From me. This is my Valentine's Day outfit. I thought it was kind of fitting. It's from Lonely Ghost. Uh, Liz is getting ready. I'm going to run some errands, if you know what I mean. So, no to go Valentine's Day stuff. We're still trying to like figure out what we want to do for Valentine's Day. We have a couple things, but I'm just going to take you on the store, the store with me. And then Liz will take you around here. So, let's go. Let's go to the store. Okay, so I'm in the Neaters drive-thru getting breakfast. We haven't had breakfast yet. This is a home getting ready for the day. Costco, I went to go get some flowers from Costco and Costco's closed. I guess I should have checked that first, but I have a few other places I'll go to get flowers. I just like I just like their flowers better. I just think they're f more full. I always know they have them. There you go. So breakfast, I'm gonna get her a swig, flowers, and then I gotta go get stuff for tonight. And then Liz, we decided, because last year on our Valentine's Day, we did like a candle lit dance and dinner so we thought that that would be kind of fun to like carry on the tradition so i think we're gonna like get dressed up and do a little dance i don't know you never gotta like go to a school dance or anything together so i kind of like that tradition i think it's kind of fun we we're talking though we we're like do we do presents like is that something we want to do do people usually do presents on valentine's day or do you do more like celebration like go out or both i don't know so we we're just talking this was like i want to get you a present but like are we doing presents maybe next year i like this whole like just chill, make dinner or fondue or go out to eat or whatever. And then like our little dance. Both of us are like pretty homebodies. So I kind of like it, but plus also it's a Monday. Actually that has nothing to do with anything. Anyways, I'm excited for fondue though. That is one thing I'm excited for. So hopefully she's vlogging. I wonder what she's doing. All right, just picked up flowers and fondue. Got it right here. Flowers are somewhere back there. You know what to get for flowers. I kind of think that the like, not just roses. I think that the like, variety. That's what it's called. I think the variety is super pretty, but they didn't really have much of a variety. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so roses will do. So I got like pink roses. They're like a pinkish reddish, or not purple, pinkish reddish rose. Hopefully she likes them. We'll see. Hey, here's breakfast. French toast with a side of bread. And then here's the flowers. It's so cute! I cannot believe you did that. I started eating a little bit of breakfast because I didn't know. I didn't want to tell you because I was like, oh, I like surprises, but at the same time, I'm like, maybe it's good. Don't mind Odin over there. He's just chowing down on a bone. Okay, I'm so excited. This is like one of my favorite breakfasts of all time. Okay. It's my favorite. We can now replace those flowers. I know, they're, they're dying. Or just add these ones to them. We can get another, a whole other thing for them. And then after, so I was gonna go get a swig. I don't know if you saw the message come through on your phone. No. Did you see it? Cause I was gonna do online pickup and I thought it was asking me to type in your number, but it said, okay, I'll send verification code to this number. Yeah, I did. I was like, Hurry. dang it. <laughs> but I didn't, it didn't say what it was for. It was I was like, oh, this is a spam. Yeah, it was weird. swig. Cause I had to go to Walmart and then I came here and then I also had to go get the fondue. I didn't want it to get cold uh, and I couldn't figure out the online order thing. <laughs> I didn't want to get stuck in line. That's smart. So we'll go get a swig after and we can get- That's perfect. I have my, I have my little concoction right here. There you go. So that's perfect. Okay, let's eat. I look terrible. I'm like halfway in the middle of doing my makeup. Okay. Wait, these are from Ecuador. Mm -hmm. Pretty quick flight this morning. I love wearing this shirt because every time I wear it, you get some old guys go, I love you. Like I was at Harmon's. And I go to check out and these two Harmon's workers are sitting there. And the guy was like, hey, I love you. And I was like, I was waiting for someone to say it. Honestly, it took too long. <laughs> Other guy's like, I like you, but I don't think we're on that basis yet. And I was like, maybe we'll get there. I was like, oh my gosh, what's up with old guys? Every time I wear these, yeah. every time I wear this shirt. That's hilarious. Makes me laugh. Night. It's a little bit later now, isn't it? 12.30. 1230, it's lunchtime. Her aunt came over and she is like a therapist. What would you say, psychology therapist? Yeah, so she does like couples therapy kind of with us. It's super cool. It's like really cool. Yeah, and so she just walked us through like some core values, like based off of how you act Yeah. and based off of how you feel, what is your core values? It was and really What cool. is like your big lie that you tell yourself and what is your big truth that you tell yourself? I'm really into that type of stuff. I think yeah. it's super interesting. It was so interesting. I feel like the brain is so complex, but 
Like I found out that I'm a super curious person. Mm-hmm. And you it makes sense. Curious. Everything that I do and everything I believe, wouldn't you say like, oh, yes. curious. Yeah, yes. Curious and vision. But uh, they go like hand in hand. Yeah, it's true. Because I'm curious. So we're just learning lots about ourselves. It's really cool. But I feel like that's and, one of the cool And us learning about ourselves is going to help strengthen our marriage. And like anyone should always look to strengthen their marriage or relationships, relationships or whatever. Relationships in whatever way, yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. And you feel good after. And you find out more about yourself. Uh-huh. And yeah, so. If you guys, like, I don't know if you follow us on Instagram. If you don't, follow us on Instagram. But I've posted on there, too, before of, like, personality traits yeah. and uh, family history stuff. Because. Uh, my arm is getting tired. This, the camera is looking like this. I look over at the camera and it's like. <laughs> so, Oof. anyways, I've learned a lot about, like, family history and, like, reasons why I am traits and mm -hmm. genealogy and stuff like that so it's, and it's pretty cool. cool for our followers ready you know how we're kind of like Dallas not kind of you know how our name is Dallas yeah what do you guys want to be called like as our followers yeah Dal let us know Dallas give us some family. ideas are you our Dallas the, the Dallas fam the Dallas fam yeah what do you guys want to be what do you guys want to be we were talking to Sam and Jess our friends our YouTube friends and they're like What's your guys' like subscribers? There, there's like, the Jam Fam. The Jam Fam. So, what do you guys want to be? Do you want to be the Dallas Fam? Or is there another thing that I'm like missing? Like another yeah. name that would be better? Let us know. Let us know! Right. Where are we now? Could you take any guesses? <laughs> We're at Swig! Guys, this has been so fun staying with my best friend all day. Yeah, and he's not doing any school, which is stressing me out. I'm trying so hard not to do school. He has to actually do, he has to help on a class tonight. That's why you guys don't see him a whole ton. I know. It's, it's like, so sad. I'm taking everything oh. in me to like not do homework. Here we go to order. So, we just went and picked up some dresses at Ivy City for my mom's friend. And it was so fun. The Ivy City owners are so sweet. So I saw one of them just barely. Now, we're going home. I don't even know what we're going to do. Dal has homework that he needs to do. No. Yes, you do. Not today. You need to do it. No. If it's going to make the rest of the week terrible, then why wouldn't you do it? Well, a couple hours is not going to change my week. Well, it could. I, I think I set myself up good enough last week to where I could have the day off. You actually do? I worked guys, hard last week. You did work hard last week. You work hard every week. So that I could have Valentine's Day yeah. and not have to worry about anything, but here I am worrying. <laughs> You guys, school is stressful. It's, more, it's a lot of- It's more stressful when you don't know what you want to do. Like, yeah. why you're in school. So, oh, cause right yeah. now I'm like, my whole life I've said I want to be a dentist. I still want to be a dentist, yeah. but I'm also open to other options. Yeah, so totally. I'm like, that's how I was just telling Liz. I was like, well, the thing is, is like, I think I'd really enjoy school if I knew exactly a hundred percent what I wanted to do. Cause then I'm just like, all right, I'm on this path. Let's do it. It's true. But right now I'm like, oh man, I don't know. So it's like, what do I want what, to do? Yeah, why am why I in am school? I yeah. Do you, I wonder how many people, I'm sure a ton of people feel that way, but if you feel that way, comment down below and let us know. And what's helped? Well, yeah, like, what's what helped? What things do you what look have you for done? while you're in classes, like, and taking classes, what things are you looking for to find something that you enjoy doing? Yeah. Or if you have been in this position before and you didn't know what you wanted to do and then you found out what you wanted to do and now you love what you do, let us know. Like, all your tips and tricks, like, that would be great. Also, yeah. Odin just wants to crawl everywhere. He's getting too big for his own good. Yeah, we need to not bring him in the car rides anymore. Unless, or send him back. Yeah. But, anyway. You guys, so, first of all, Liz was like, why is your hair so curly today? I have no idea. I mean, geez, she maybe just went through the roof. Anyways, you guys remember these little things from last Valentine's Day? Last Valentine's Day, I went and bought all this stuff. I went and bought those hearts. Remember, Liz and I danced in the middle of her apartment. And I bought those little streamers to hang from the ceiling and then all of these little light up lights. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Who would have ever thought a year later? Anyways, so this, and then we're going to make fondue. So I have that stuff all set up kind of over there. See if I can keep Alyssa out of this room while I set this all up. Okay. So here it is so far. Lights aren't off or anything, but you got the flowers as a centerpiece. I used all this stuff, even these papers, last Valentine's Day. Isn't that crazy? So, I think that's pretty cool. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Don't
care about the others 